what's going on guys this is gz welcome to my channel so today in this video we are going to test another new asset for inferno 2 drops that is a new edition dancing in places wow it has a nice name to it let's see how much we can make people dance on it so we are going to equip this dancing in place so what it does is knife trap now becomes a snake trap when triggered the snake trap deals damage to all nearby enemies while also immobilizing them and preventing the use of that skill for four seconds so let's see how good it is because if we can prevent people from using trap demon hunter can get into a good position so we are going to use this and also we are going to use another new shoulder that came out especially for the knife traps that is knife traps cooldown has been reduced by 18 seconds so what we are going to do is we are actually going to where is the knife trap oh no not this shit uh all right knife trap there goes our knife trap this is what this looks like oh we have it oh we we have a radius now we can use a radius to know where we want to actually place it but it's quite small anyways the cooldown as you can see looks all right and you can plus up to three and when we go inside the detail what it says about the damage 29,000 damage which is going to be about uh not more than 45,000 hit that we can do with this but we are definitely going to test that and also i am going to uh put that here and on top of that what we are going to do here in vault today is i am going to keep myself this rail gun this oh what the what did i just do just forge i'm not a fireman uh where is it hatred falcon okay we are going to use this and we are going to plant this and if one if someone tries to get closer we will have trap for them which will disengage them and still we can run but we are sacrificing a lot but still let's see how it will go but first we are going inside the rift to see how it goes all right we are here oh okay once it's triggered the radius is actually bigger look at the damage and they cannot move all right so the normal enemies can actually not move all right this actually looks good let's try it up against the elite and see how it goes we still have our of uh, evasive skill here yeah damage is actually not bad but no it's not for pve keep in mind this is for pvp only it's, it is best used for pvp and mostly for the vault i think can we plant on one of each other let's see one two three yep here we can whoa okay we can do that <laughs> one two three see almost died there but anyways i'll see you guys in the vault now all right it took us some time but we have our first match here let's see how it goes i have told the team what we are going to do with the traps and the beam of course and let's see 
how it actually goes practically, you know? And... There we go. I really can't tell that if the trap actually worked there, but let's continue. Alright, let's go for another one. And they are close by, okay. No, 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 stay back. Uh, should we? I don't feel like confident. Uh, but hold on. Most of them are actually. Not sure if the trap actually worked, but it did explode it. It's really hard to tell. So what I am getting a feel from it that when we are in the moment of heat, planting a, the trap in the right position is actually hard, but still we won. So yeah, maybe we have to find a more stationary fight where we can actually build up our traps like here building up our traps like here then shooting them on the balcony and preparing for the arrival of the shadows but anyways let's move on let's see what we have this time this is our third match mm, they could be professional uh triggering us on the second Floor, making us think that all right my mistake and they are done for so as you can see railgun actually does a lot of damage and traps were about to get in action but they didn't but anyways let's move there we go another one and he did got hit and he's dead he's dead 120k hit with my railgun and that's it done another one let's see what it's all about oh, okay the guy is hiding and i am trying to see if i can actually or we have to kill him just like that i tried the trap but gladiator came in action and he survived it so good to know this might be our last one or not because there are not much time left but we will try for another one but anyways these guys are going to balcony and they have destroyed these uh monster real quickly here so this could be let them come yep he he's done all right for the first all right, I am dead. This, these were whales somehow. As you can see, he was not able to move there, but he sure did took us out really easy. I couldn't even able to tell what just happened. Oh, because I am on treasure hunter at the moment and I am dead. That's why. Too bad. A newbie move. But he was unable to move for one second, I think at least. 
All right, let's go. This is our last. So far, there are a lot of things that have gone wrong with planting the traps. So it shows that the probability of getting it right is really low. All right, I timed it right and railgun actually did far better for me than anything else. And this guy is running away. And I think my team is going to get him. And he's dead. He is dead. So there goes guys. So what I would say is if you want to plant traps, do like this in a distance, hoping that they would step on it and stay there for you to enjoy their stun effect. But the probability of this trap going right for you is like 5% out of 100 and it's all right for the one second it does give you a good one second to disable them and if you have a strong team then they can utilize that one second but in actual you loses a lot of damage so this would actually make you more like a support instead of a damage guy so it's up to you but i really didn't like it i would say Sticking up to the railgun here, the Hatred Falcon is better and you do not need the trap. As you can see, I timed it right and deal a lot of damage there. But anyways, this is it for the video. Do let me know what do you guys think and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care, have fun and bye guys.